Welcome guys, I am your presenter, Mr. Benny, and today we'll be looking at a, detail, a detailed outline of the MATS SBA. Now this is not an SBA, it's basically what you are supposed to do and steps in some things that you are not supposed to do. Alright, so let us begin. So the first thing that we looked at is the title. And the title, it must be a real life problem. And normally it's a question asked. Now, you can choose any aspect of mathematics that you love and you can do your SBA on that. Now, what do I mean by a real life problem? It should be realistic. It should be something in your, in, in your surroundings. For example, we can look at tiling of a room. Say, for example, we have a 40 by 50 rectangular room and you want to find out which is more cost effective to use, whether some small 12 by 12 or 18 by 18. We can look at higher purchase to see, we can compare two stores like Singer and Quartz to see which one of them offer the better higher purchase deals. We can look at bank loans which bank offer the better loan, lower interest rate, and so forth and so forth. And it normally, it should be in a question form. So you will ask a question, which is more cost effective to tile a, say, 40 by 60 rectangular room, whether it's a 12 by 12 or the 18 by 18 inch tile. And that would be area, right? All right, let's go. And here we have it, an example of a MATS SBA title, which is more cost effective to tile a 40 by 60 rectangular, rectangle room. Rectangle, that should be rectangle, right? So there we have it. I already explained that part of it. Example 2, which company offers the better data package, Lime or Digicel? Um, there should be a question mark. Seems to be, um, it's pretty late when I was doing this, so I probably I was a bit tired. Alright, so which company offers the better data package, Lime or Digicel? And you can explore so many aspects of that. We can look at the one day plan, the two day plan, the number of megabytes each give. I mean, that it's just, it's just marvelous. Um, I would advise anyone to do that topic. It's a 20 out of 20, definitely. All right. So we looked at, after we look at the title, we're going to look at method of data collection. Now, the method of data collection is how you obtain legitimate data. What do I mean by legitimate? You should not make up things. It should be a real survey or an observation or whatever, but it should be real. No makeup business. And if you try to make up stuff, you will, you, will, you will be in a lot of trouble. And remember, do not plagiarize. Do not take someone's work and submit it. You will get zero plus you'll be banned for six years. All right. So the data must be factual, right? So you don't... Um, say you're doing it and you have a Lime phone. And you think Lime is a better data plan. But when you check it out, the respondents are the information that you got. Digital is actually better. But because you are a Lime fan, you put Lime in there. No. It must be factual. And it should have a brief description of how the data is obtained. So if you're going to use questionnaire, you're going to tell how many questionnaire you handed out, how many you received, if you, if you receive 100% of the data of the questionnaire that you gave out, etc, uh, so etc, et and the reason for giving out that number. So basically, the sample size is very important. The larger the sample size, the more accurate um, your survey will be, uh, your, your, your research. And this is example of method of data collection. You can use a questionnaire. This is where questions are written and you give them options and they will choose it based on that. You can also have the option other 
See, they do not choose, they don't want to choose one of the options that you offer. They, you can have other and they can just write it down. So you can leave a line for that. Interview. We know what an interview is. However, it's best you record it or have it written um, and have a signature of the person. Just for proof to say to your teacher to say, listen, I did this. Um, I interviewed her on the 5th of November 2020, blah, blah, blah. What time and so forth and say, here is a recording or is a signature. So you have to make it be real to your teacher because the teacher do not want you to go online and just download something from somebody else's work. It must be shown that it's your work. We can also have observation. Say you're doing something and I want to find out how many cars, different types of cars that pass on say half a tree between 10 and 11. And you'll go there and observe the number of cars and so forth. But what if you're doing an observation, please take pictures to um you know to to show that you actually went and do that observation during that time period. You can use a mixture of both, you can do a questionnaire or you can also do an interview. So it, it's not limited to just the questionnaire. And you know in the case of um you're doing higher purchase, you can actually go to Quotes are seeing and get their brochure, and you can compare probably, um, say a gas stove, but it must be the same brand, the same size, and then you can compare which of the better deal. All right, it brings us to the presentation of data, and the presentation of data is basically how you present your data that you have collected. Whether you want to use a bar graph, obviously these are not. Um, perfect. I just put some in there, so you can use the 3D. I personally like to see the 3D shapes, um, figures in the in the, in the survey. It make it look up. It make it look very good. So you can use a bar graph to represent the data at least after you collect it, whether by questionnaire or something. You can use a pie chart, and as I say, I like the 3D. So you can use. The 3D one, I like it personally. But this is just, you know, to show the number of megabytes. Obviously, I don't put any numbers in it because it's not real. I will be doing a actual SBA, all right? And you can have table. So this table will be is showing the price of time, and there you have the unit cost. First, it have the size, the unit cost, the number of tiles needed, and the total cost. Um, obviously. I just do some random things, all right? All right, that brings us to the analysis of data. So after you present your data, you need to analyze your data. So you're gonna analyze the data collected. Um, do not give your, do not give your opinion. Do not give your opinion report on what the data result. No, do not give your opinion report on what the data, um, the data result. So again, not because you like Digicel and Lime turn out to be better, you're going to say Lime is, um, Digicel is better. No. Analyze based on the information you get. You can compare and contrast depending on what you're doing. In your analysis, you can give percentage, um, number value, and it depends on the research that you are doing. All right? All right. Next would be discussion of findings. And basically, after you analyze, you're going to discuss what you analyze, right? So everything is a continuation. And again, notice I say not your opinion. It must be based on the result, right? And you can analyze a chart. You can analyze a table, analyze a graph. Because you know you have line graph and so forth also. Not just limit to what I have in this, right? And next would be your conclusion. Now the conclusion, you're going to conclude what the research revealed. So if the research revealed that Lime is better than Digicel, you're going to put that in there. And normally it's a question ask, so you're going to answer the question. Not just answer the question, Say you're going to say Lime is better because blah 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 of a more megabytes, blah 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 blah, Digicel is better because they have rolled over time. 
and you can get back so it's going to be based on you're going to justify your conclusion and you're going to make reference to the reason for your con for your conclusion next we have your recommendation not all will have the recommendation but it's good to have a recommendation so say for example you can recommend that they buy the 12 by 12 tiles because it's cheaper blah 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 and you use um, you put a little something to support your argument now guys thanks for notes i did not give the marks allocated because this is not the actual sba this is just an outline of what you are supposed to do stay tuned for the real sba i'm going to be doing some sbas so i want you guys to some sample sbas but guys please remember to like share and subscribe share with your friends all right thanks for watching i'm mr bennett i'm out